The statement by Senate indicates that it stopped the payment of lump sum to pensioners in December 2019. It again indicated that the clock sucks assertion that some pensioners were paid less than 200 cities was a lie. His date of birth, 8th March 1960. He joined the scheme 1st November 1981. Date of retirement, 8th March 2020. This is SNIT's document. It's not our document. 25% lump sum should pass credit. 160 Ghana cities. But Clark Sagan insists SNIT is still paying less than 200 cities to pensioners who retired this year. Average all of them have worked for 40 years. 10 years contributions are with the schemes. 30 years contributions are with SNIT. This same um, Ajiman Osei, we paid him the hedge, the trust, from 2010 to date. That's about 10 years. Paid Ajiman Osei 4,431 cities. But some have argued that the amount could be an error. But the Executive Secretary Zegbampo Ado disagrees. Payment done by SNIT, 13th March 2020. So if Stint is telling the general public that they, they don't pay lump sum, how did they pay this one? And they transferred to the man's bank, in Kwabiaja Rural Bank Limited, Barikesi. They did a transfer, Snit. So are they not deceiving the public? That's why we are saying this one is Kofukowu virus. He demanded that Snit transfer funds in his custody to the registered schemes by the National Pensions Regulatory Authority immediately. They are a law in itself. They don't respect any law in Ghana. That's neat. And should everybody behave like that? We are not in a jungle. See, that don't respect any law in Ghana. The funds under their management is not government funds. It is workers' funds. Now, we are consulting with our executives, other associations and unions. But I think the next thing we have to do is to take legal action.